For almost 12 years, we've been supplying the world's firefighting community. The K-Series have served ones who serve us very well. Since we have a previous camera on the market today, we have a lot of feedback from our customers. When we started this project, we really wanted to involve them directly from day one. We've been working very closely to firefighters to understand how we can make this camera as useful as possible. At the R&D department here at FLIR, we have many disciplines that work together to make this product come to life. And it's great that we have everything in-house here because you can have really rapid prototyping and that we can collaborate together. When you use the camera and run into an actual live fire, there will be a lot of smoke. But then when you bring up your camera, you can actually see a lot of details. When a firefighter attacks a fire, they go from a room temperature environment into a very hot environment. The camera usually will freeze for a couple of seconds when it switches game mode. And what we've understood is that seconds can feel like an eternity. And that was the main driver of having one gain range. One of the main challenges for achieving this one range is actually to find a sensor good enough that can handle this huge dynamic range. And so we have done a lot of optimization, how to really squeeze out most of the performance within that single range. The new K-Series is tailored to support the firefighter before and after the mission. And the app plays a huge part in training facilitation, so more people can get more efficient firefighting training and less classroom time in order to be more prepared for the firefighting mission at hand. The key principles is to keep it easy and simple to use. Simplicity is being able to quickly access the features that the first responders need in their day-to-day -day jobs. Before a mission, you can make sure that the camera's configured in the way you expect it to be. Make sure that you have a series of 5 or 10 or 30 cameras configured in the same way. After the mission, it's all about transferring the data from the camera, being able to share them through your existing systems for evidence tracking. We have equipped the detection mode with a cold and hot spot tracker for the firefighter to get more information and be able to take smarter decisions. You can stand next to a door that doesn't look hot, you don't hear any fire, but the door can be super hot and that can give you a warning that there's an active fire on the other side. We got a lot of feedback, we want it very clear, but at the same time also I give information about the heat, where is the flames going, where is the water wave going and coming from. So we have been focusing a lot on trying to optimize our colorization. To be able to have a camera that can actually see through the smoke, see if there's any holes in the ground, see if any door is really hot, maybe see someone who's passed out, that gives you confidence. There are multiple scenarios which we needed to deep dive into and understand better. Constantly through the project we do improvements and the next month we go out to do field trials. We got new feedback and we have done a lot of these repetitions. Taking in the, the information that we gathered, after that process we started to prototype. We then could go out once again to different field studies and try out the actual interactivity. Every time we have tested prototypes together with real firefighters, the team comes home with renewed energy and tons of ideas to improve the solution, which has been amazing. I'm really proud to be a part of developing this kind of cameras that really saves life on a daily basis all over the world.